what could easily pass for medicine after a political death, the embattled national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Yocha Ayu, yesterday was compelled by the party's National Working Committee, NWC, to step aside in deference to a restraining order by the Benway High Court on Monday. To this end, the Deputy National Chairman of the Party, Ambassador Ilya Damagum, has taken over an acting capacity pending the outcome of the case of the anti-party suit against Ayu. This notwithstanding, Ayu's case went from Igorayev Ward and local local government area, Benway State at a press conference, where they exonerated Ayu of any wrongdoing, insisted that those that signed the suspension letter against Ayu had their signature forged and subsequently kidnapped. Rice correspondent Amaka Ode Walker tells us more. After a careful consideration of the court order, and in line with section 45, subsection 2 of the constitution of the PDP as amended in 2017, the NWC resolved that the Deputy National Chairman North, His Excellency Ambassador Omar Ilya Damagum, assumes the national chairmanship of our party in acting capacity. Embattled chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Dr. EOJ Ayu, who has been in the eye of the storm for months following calls for his resignation by some leaders of the party, finally steps aside. Led by the governor of River State, Yes Omike, the G5 for Integrity Group had first demanded that Ayu steps aside as party chairman in May last year, due to the emergence of Atiku Abubakar, a northern candidate, as the presidential flag bearer of the party. Iochai from Benue State in north central Nigeria was urged to go as both key positions of presidential candidate and national chairman could not be held by the north. Ayu had insisted that changing the leadership of the party could be detrimental to its outing during the general election at hand. With the PDP not only losing the presidential election, it also lost some PDP states, including Benway, where the embattled chairman hails from, making the calls for Ayu's ouster to even get louder. On Sunday, a section of the PDP ward executive in Igorev ward of Boko local government area of Benway state suspended Ayu, accusing him of working against the success of the party in the state. We observe with utmost dismay that Dr. Euchi Ayu, who is the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, woke against the sources of the party in Igoro Council War. It is on record that he has also failed to pay his annual subscription. But in a statement by his media aide Simon Imobe Swam, Ayu had argued that his word executives lacked the powers to suspend him as only the National Executive Committee of the party, the second highest decision-making organ of the party, has the powers to suspend him. But with a purported suspension, Ayu joins a list of PDP leaders to be accused of anti-party activities after the general elections as only days before, former Senate President and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Ayim Pius Ayim, Former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayeshe, Senator Chimaru Namani, amongst others, had been suspended as well. But as if the suspension was not enough, it was later followed by a Makordi High Court interim order restraining Ayu from parading himself as the national chairman of the PDP. The court was presided over by Justice Wilfred Bochi. On Tuesday, some stakeholders of the party from Benue State arrived at the national headquarters of the party to pass a vote of confidence on the leadership of IU and disown the earlier suspension which led to the court ruling. Igoro PDP Ward Executive Committee hereby pass vote of full confidence on Senator Dr. Yochi IU and we also pledge our full support for his pragmatic leadership style. This will eventually not matter or have any effect as RU was replaced barely an hour after by the Deputy National Chairman North, Omar Ilya Damagum. The National Publicity Secretary of the party announced that Damagum will assume office as the acting National Chairman of the party pending the determination of the case in court or setting aside of the interim injunction. The National Working Committee charges all leaders, critical stakeholders, 
teaming members and supporters of our great party to remain calm and united at this critical time. On his part, the acting national chairman says a meeting of the National Working Committee will be convened to review the current situation. And when asked by Arise News about the gale of suspensions and a way forward, he promised to review what is on ground. As a party, we are prone to reconciliation. That thing you are asking of already is on my mind. We will review it. I've already spoken. Uh, we'll have a meeting, NWC meeting tomorrow, and in that meeting we'll discuss it, and there will be a possible review of whatever. It is left to be seen if EOJU's stepping aside will be enough to calm free nerves within the party, as those who have been calling for Aya's removal continue to insist that the chairman of the party must come from the South for equity and fairness. Amaka Ude Walker, Arise News. All right, good report by Amaka Ude Walker. Dr. Vati, finally, all of this is happening to the party. Well, what the Nigerian constitution says very clearly is that any order of court must be respected. Even if the uh, order of court is uh, effective, the only recourse that you have available is to go back to the court and argue your case. So listening to uh, Debo Lugwaba, spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, and also uh, deputy chairman of the party, now acting chairman, uh, Umar Damagumayu, uh, the point that is being made is that the party has a law respecting body, as a rule of law compliant body, would obey the ruling from the uh, uh, Benue State High Court saying that the an interim injunction has been granted restraining uh, Senator Yochiayu from parading himself as chairman of the party. Uh, arising from an ex parte motion that was filed by an aide of the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn. And the court says, until the hearing of the motion on notice and the determination of that uh, motion or suit, you know, uh, then of course, Ayu should step aside, should, should not parade himself. The matter has now been adjourned till April 17. So in the interim, therefore, uh, Senator Yochia, you say he respects the rule of court and the party saying that the court must be obeyed as stepped aside. But it seems to me that what we're dealing with is a battle for the soul, or let's use a stronger word, a battle for the existence the of the People's Democratic Party, the political party in Nigeria. Because we've seen situations in this country where political parties disappeared. Once upon a time, there was a party called Alliance for Democracy. Once, a, once upon a time, there was a party called the Action, Action Congress. Congress. Once upon a time, there was a party called APP. Right? Yes. Which, in a way, even produced the incumbent president who is going to live on uh, uh, May 29. But those parties vanished. So the PDP, having been declared a loser in the 2023 election, in the 2019 election, and with some former leaders of the party not showing as much interest, I mean, they have uh, President Obasanjo. I don't think he's showing much interest in that party. We have not seen President Jonathan coming to the front, uh, you know, in, in terms of the politics of the party. What we see. It's infighting, crisis within the party. So this is about the soul, the existence of the People's Democratic Party. But a larger challenge for the Nigerian people is that we could well end up very soon with a one-party state in Nigeria that is dominated by the All Progressives Congress. But if that happens, it will be the choice that the Nigerian people themselves will have made wittingly or unwittingly. unwittingly. Now, the other leg of this is that Senator Yochi Ayu says, okay, he will go to the court and challenge it. Yes. Under the principle that thou must hear the other side, ex parte motions are often uh, abused. But the other party now can go to court 
and say under the principle of how the other button thou must hear the other side then of course senator yosha you and his lawyers can go back to the same court and say this is our side of the story what will be interesting will be what the court now does subsequently with the uh, interim injunction that it has uh, given will it affirm that interim injunction but you know the iu camp is making it clear that look the people who signed the uh, petition uh they are not the rightful persons that it was that, forged, that in fact they were that it was an exercise in futility but the proper place now with this development in the pdp to prove all of that is in the court of law and then we await what the court will now decide when it hears the other side as it must because most people will complain about their expert emotions however there's a twist in the tale and that twist in detail was provided by uh, Governor Yesum Wiki of uh, Rivers. He said that the main argument of Senator Yochi Ayu and his supporters in the Igrium uh, world, uh, who came out yesterday and said more or less the same objections that Senator Ayu addressed, is that Senator uh, Ayu should be reminded that he took over because Prince Uche Secondos was rejected by his own word. Mm. And then he stood. And therefore, Wiki argues that the argument by Senator Ayu that the word can, is not in a position to reject a member of the National Working Committee cannot stand. So you then see that if you place this in context, this is a continuation of the battle within the PDP about who becomes president, who becomes chairman. At that time, it was said that, oh, if uh, the PDP wins, then the chairman will step down. Could this be a case of the G5 and the integri integrity group saying that, okay, PDP may have lost the election, but to save the party, IU will still have to go. So this is uh, a continuation of that battle. But I'm sure in APC, you know, there will be jubilation and they will say, well, let uh, the people in PDP cancel themselves out. The same spirit of error that I alluded to yesterday. One thing is certain. <clears throat> Politicians always do things for their interest. And like I said, for a party that has just lost an election, all right, some will argue, oh, until it goes to court, you have no right to say that. But as we speak today, PDP did not win the election. So for a party that just lost an election, it is going to be harder across board. And that is what is happening to Yocha Ayu as we speak today. All of this <clears throat> started when some members of NEC were suspended from the party. And like uh, Chief Body Judge was saying yesterday, I think he was quoting one of Newton's laws of motion that says action and reaction are equal or opposite. Mm. And that's what happened yesterday. All of a sudden, Yocha Ayu was kicked out or temporarily till he faces his own day in court by people in his ward. Although there's been discordant tues, they said, oh, most of that, uh, 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 that the letter was forged and people are speaking against it. But what they should also ask is, there was also a group of people that signed that, that letter. They claimed they were kidnapped. Mm -hmm. There's an infighting going on in his ward now, but as we speak. And most people in the NEC will not support Yorcha, are you? Why? Because he had just kicked out most of their colleagues out of NEC. And he has sent a serving governor to go through the disciplinary committee of the party. So it's an interesting time for the PDP. But where did all of this come from? You cannot remove this from the zoning arrangement that happened leading up to the emergence of the presidential candidate of the PDP, which even led to you having G5 governors in the first place. Because the argument some of them made then was the fact that, hey, after Alaji Atiko ran in 2019, it was only fair for them to zone this to the south. And they had a couple and series of meetings before they finally said, oh, let's open it up. And once Alaji Atiko emerged, the party became rancorous. A lot of people have said, oh, the G5 was not going to have any effect. Some people call them all sorts of names. 
The effect of the G5 in the last election, it's obvious. Yeah. If the party had been united, would the party have done better? Yes. That's an argument out there. Some people will say, no, they didn't have an effect. Some people will say, yes, they had an effect. But whatever has happened to the PDP, it has to be reminded. We have to remind the PDP that and how it's divided against itself will not stand. And we should go back in history and ask why did Lincoln give that a house divided against itself speech? It was exactly after a party primaries, a rancorous party primaries that led to his emergence as the presidential candidate of the party. And they were split down the middle. And for him to be able to bring his heart together, he said the house divided against itself will not stand. And he gave that famous speech. So will, are you get enough backers? Will he get a good time in court? Will things work in his favor? The court will decide that. But historical antecedent shows that this was the same way Adam Sashambala went in the APC that and we also had ended. Probably the same way Secondos did go. It's a fight for the soul of the PDP. Let's see how this will pan out. But it will be a miracle if Inyocha Ayu gets to sit back. Ahead of the... Wow, 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 wow. Well, I, I did a video in that um, respect yesterday, you know, and, you know, Rufa, I just made mention that in, uh, in his intro initial introduction of this whole story as touching the uh, national chairman of the People's Democratic Party. In fact, I already addressed him as former because um, somebody else already is acting in his position because he has been said to step aside. However, we have, it has, it has been, this has been described as simply medicine after death. These are things that they should have done, you know, even before the general election so that they would have had a place. If, they, if the G5 governors had been in that party, APC would have found it tough. They would have found it tough. So, you know, whatever happened, they would have found it tough. Just the margin and everything. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video with others. Drop your comments. Make them simple and simple.